How long is this rant going to last? No. Not as long as I can stomach it, which isn't going to be long. However really long it takes me to read that much. All right, guys, it has turned into a gloomy, smoky day here in the end times in Portland. Smoky, wildfire choked, smoky day in Portland. Of course, that would be Portland, Maine, not Portland, Oregon, where I hear the skies are blue. But uh, anyway, so we're hiding inside from the keeping from choking on smoke. And while I'm doing this, guys, I just cannot resist. I want to thank, uh, oh, it's Monday, July 26, 2021. I want to thank Alert Tribes member Kevin Shanholzer who just visited us at uh, Madalena, your timing was perfect. You get to hear a, a, a short Humpty Dumpty drive rant. So anyway, I want to appreciate Kevin Shanholzer for sending me this jewel. Just so you know, I'm not making this up. This is from Boeing Corporation. We're going to read a short uh, letter from Boeing Corporation. And this is as much as I can stomach of this. This is not the onion. This is for real. And this little uh, missive, <clears throat> Boeing Corporation's Chief Sustainability Officer. Chief Sustainability Officer Chris Raymond discusses Boeing Corporation's commitment to partner across the industry to redefine sustainable aerospace by 2050. Of course, he will have to redefine. Uh, he will have to redefine the word sustainability because the word sustainability means the ability to continue forever. And uh, we're going to send this one out to Andy the Gardener. Andy the Gardener, I challenge you to top anything being uh, said here by sustain Chief Sustainability Officer Chris Raymond. Okay, take it away, Chris. So what this is is a fake interview, you know, on the Boeing uh, newsletter where they have these fake interviews. All right, so this is the fake interviewer asking Chris. In September 2020, Boeing formed a sustainability organization and named you as their chief sustainability officer. Why was this, September of 2020, the right time? Take it away, Chris. For more than 100 years, Boeing has been committed to protecting, connecting, and exploring our world and beyond, and we continue to do so today safely and sustainably. However, in the midst of a pandemic, we wanted to be even more intentional about our stakeholder-focused efforts to and created a global enterprise sustainability organization. A global enterprise sustainability organization. Yes. Sustainability is rooted in our company values and encompasses our focus on environmental stewardship. The Boeing Corporation's focus on environmental stewardship social pro progress and inclusion and values-based transparent governance. Within this report, we share our journey, our industry point of view, and data around key stakeholder topics for our business. Yes, you will find the details of how we are actively advancing sustainability on all of our prioritized through our people, products, mainly jet engines and services, operations and communities. Our industry and our company are facing 
into climate change driven risks, opportunities, and the need to decarbonize aerospace for sustained long-term growth. Safe and sustainable aerospace is non-negotiable to our commercial and defense customers, communities, and current and future employees. Our people around the globe and partnerships in our local communities are foundational to our success. And guys, there's about 10 of these fake questions. I'm going to read the first fake question, and then before vomit is induced, I am going to, uh, I will put the uh, link, and you can read the rest of this yourself. So we're going to read the first question. How does Boeing Corporation plan to decarbonize aerospace for future generations? I think that's one of these sustainable Boeing jets flying over right now. Okay, take it away, Chris. Our purpose at Boeing Corporation is to protect, connect, and explore our world beyond safely and sustainably. You already said that, Chris. So, we are partnering across the industry to reimagine and ultimately decarbonize aerospace in the second half of this century. Yes, the second half of this century. We will, uh, they will get around to decarbonizing the industry. Okay. By the year 2050, in 29 years from now, we see a world where air travel will safely carry 10 billion, 10 billion passengers per year, support 180 million jobs, support science, technology, engineering, and math education, and generate nearly $9 trillion in economic activity as part of their sustainability program, all while minimizing the impact on our planet. Yes, we're going to fly around 10 billion passengers every year and create nine trillion dollars in global economic activity all while minimizing the impact on our planet. At the same time, governments around the globe are committing to bold climate change ambitions. Yes. Governments around the globe are committing to bold climate change ambitions and are looking to our industry, the aerospace industry, to partner with them on a more sustainable aerospace future, both in the commercial and defense sectors. The, the future, this future, requires a portfolio of solutions and partnerships that allows our industry sector to decarbonize while ensuring the connectivity, societal, and eco economic benefits that come from aerospace are available to people everywhere. And then the next question, what is included in Boeing's portfolio of solutions. But of course, uh, he goes on and on for 20 minutes, never mentioning a solution. Although later we get introduced to the, con to the concept of sustainable, sus sustainable aerospace fuel. No. Air sustainable airplane fuel. Airline fuel. Yeah. Airline. Sustainable airline fuel, yep. which is predominantly non-palm <laughs> yeah. biofuels. Yeah. 
they got in there, uh, just so you understand, it is, will not be flying airplanes around on palm oil, just everything else in the jungle except palm oil. Anyway, guys, I've had enough of this, and I have a sustainable pizza and pitcher of beer uh, <laughs> with my name on it at the sustainable pizza parlor. I'm going to get in my sustainable gas-sucking truck, and we're going to go have a sustainable pizza, and I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy your sustainable pizza and your sustainable aerospace industry while you still can. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah.